Welcome to Progress Report number 35. As you can see, I've been uh, working on Nosy um, for a while uh, since my last video, making some progress on the elbow joints and upper arms. Uh, this is the result of that work. I'm very happy with it and uh, satisfied with the proportions and the, uh, the joints and the angles in which the arms are going to rest in the near future. Um, so I couldn't be happier with uh, the, the progress that we've made since report number 34. I do want to let you guys know and make you aware that near the 10th of this month, uh, something is going to be arriving here that will uh, take the, this project to the next level and I hope is going to be a satisfying uh, you know, addition for you guys as well. You will see what uh, that thing is soon once I you know, ins install it or assemble it in the studio. Um, it will allow you to, here's a hint, it will allow you to view Nosy in a different uh, posture or slightly more standing position. Well, I just have to wait on those, um, those shipping times and uh, I'll install that as soon as it gets here. But that will, that will eventually uh, elevate Nosy off the ground finally into its 10 foot two or eventual 10 foot two height. Right now, Nosy is eight foot one. Um, at the shoulders, but as we all know, Nosy will have a neck and a head. Once they're installed, they will add an additional two feet on top of those uh, shoulders at around eight foot one, eight foot two mark, and bump this to uh, a 10 foot two tall rabbit animatronic, as I've been saying for some time. That being said, the ears may add an additional uh, few inches or two, an extra foot, um, depending on their pitch. Those will be uh, autonomously controlled by the, uh, the head module, um, which will pilot the jaw, the eyes, the nose, the ears, the eyelids, and all of that fun stuff. My father's foot. <laughs> yeah, my father really stuck by me all through childhood. One time in school, the teacher asked me who signed the Declaration of Independence. I'll be sure to get into more of the details and more of the specifics regarding that neck and head once I have those digital files um, ready to go. And I may even uh, find a way to translate those digital files into some sort of progress report of their own for you guys to see. As some of you may have noticed, I have some gas struts all nearly ready to go on their installation for the limbs, the shoulders, uh, the elbows, the knees, the hips, and the ankles. Um, these are just a few that I've laid out. I have many more over here. All of those are those. That being said, the installation of the gas stress and hydraulic systems, including the hydraulic lines, electrical lines, wiring, etc. That all needs to happen once I finish welding um, the cage, the cage frame of Nosy. And once Nosy is in a fully standing position. Right now, Nosy is doing some Pilates and is not standing, but that will change soon. Nosy just needed to stretch after you know laying on his back and sitting in a ball for so long during shipping and whatnot. Hopefully this is relaxing enough and kind of a, a fun dynamic uh, position just to showcase the range of mobility and flexibility that the Nosy animatronic will have once the wiring and electrical components are installed. It's a marshmallow world in the winter when the snow comes to cover the ground. And it's time for play, it's a whipped cream day, I love it when it comes around. Those are marshmallow clouds being friendly, in the arms of the evergreen trees, and the sun is red. As you guys can see, I have installed one more hydraulic line on the back of Nosy. It is not hooked up to any air pressure yet, so it is limp, but once that is um, connected, this will be pressurizing the, the pitch of the upper uh, chest or the back, um, giving it that arch and uh, flexibility in the back. Right now it is crunched forward, but it is able to arch backwards as well, as you have seen in uh, previous videos. Hopefully this has uh, been informative to you and uh, been a, a decent uh, like timeline for some uh, regarding just the next steps of standing nosy upright um, and you know what I'm gonna be working on after the welding's done, the order of things to come, uh, be it welding, electrical, uh, hydraulic lines, 
and then those little computer um, installations that need to happen after. Then there'll be a, a rubber slash canvas protective layer around some of the cage uh, designs in the limbs and torso. And on top of that, a cosmetic uh, fur outer layer that will cover the entirety of the animatronic uh, within reason, giving a, you know, will most likely be some other material on the palms and on the, the soles of Nosy, um, just to give that a, so we're not hearing a clank every time it walks, right? We don't want that. Quieter movement, uh, never hurt anybody, right? I hope you all are having a good night and um, a, good, a nice week. And I would like to wish everybody a Merry Christmas, as it is that time of year. And you will be hearing uh, more from Nosy and I shortly. I hope you all have um, a happy sleep. And Nosy and I will see you all very, very soon. Bye-bye.